I think my relationship with the ocean started with my fascination with water. When I was 11 or 12 years old, we went to the Virgin Islands and I saw a healthy coral reef for the first time and I think I lost my mind. It changed me forever. I'm Dr. Shreen Rahimi. I'm a marine anthropologist, underwater filmmaker, and National Geographic explorer. I'm featured as a contributor for National Geographic Shark Fest. For my work, I focus on coral reefs, but spending a lot of time on coral reefs means that you come in contact with a lot of sharks because sharks call coral reefs their home. We are hardwired to be deathly afraid of sharks. The first time I dove with a lot of sharks, I felt strangely comfortable seeing other living things that are just as important as I am. I often will team up with other scientists that have more expertise than me when I'm trying to tell a specific story. One of those people is Dr. Katherine McDonald. She's an incredible shark scientist doing really exciting and very thoughtful and, and caring work with sharks off of the shores of Miami. I'm Dr. Katherine McDonald. I'm the director of field school and I'm a lecturer at the Rosenseal School of Marine and Atmospheric Science at the University of Miami. And I study juvenile and mesopredatory sharks. And what that means is that I study smaller bodied sharks that live their lives not only out there looking for food, um, but also trying to make sure that they don't get eaten. These sharks are such an important part of ecosystems and they are so much less studied and they receive so much less attention than the large apex predatory sharks. Baby sharks are just as cool as their parents. So right now, Catherine is showing me the ropes with shark tagging. Um, we're putting out long lines, which are basically very long lines with 20 or so hooks attached to them. And on the end of each hook is a little piece of fish. And so that is gonna attract a lot of sharks. A lot of sharks are under grave threats. Their habitats are being destroyed. Their food sources are being taken away by fishing. And so shark tagging is this tool that scientists have where they can gather all of this data so that they can better protect them. The reason why I love working with Catherine is because she's so caring and deliberate with how she tags these sharks. And she really does not compromise on making sure that the sharks uh, are tagged in the most humane way possible. We're collecting data about who's giving birth, when, how big are the babies, and also questions like, how's the bay doing right now? What's present in the waters you know, at this time of year in these temperatures? And uh, starting to collect a more holistic picture of the ecosystem here. She's pregnant, yes. So we're taking a quick picture of her on this grid board uh, that we're using to study the morphology of bonnet heads here in Biscayne Bay. Team, let's get back to the bow. We might have more little sharks waiting for us. Looks like we got a shark on the line. It's so pretty. I know, it's beauty. Well done. so inspiring to be working side by side with Catherine, doing our best to help these sharks live and thrive in their habitat. I think my relationship with the ocean started with my fascination with water when I was 11 or 12 years old.